expect you to be up so early on a Saturday. Yeah, I have to get to work. I booked a last minute brunch at the Brock. Did you take care of the flooding in the basement? <clears throat> I sure did. Well, it's been great catching up with you, but you should probably be on your way now. Right. Good morning. If anyone needs me, I'll be swimming laps in the basement. There might still be a little water. Hey guys, if you're thinking of going snorkeling for treasure, I recommend the southwest corner behind the furnace. I found some great relics there. I'm pretty sure these are of ancient Mayan origin. <laughs> See, everything worked out. If the basement hadn't flooded, we never would have found those Christmas lights. Why don't you just call a plumber? That's too expensive. And besides, you're always saying how you want a pool. Now you have one. Morning, folks. They're really fighting today. I hit my limit so fast, I had to throw a few back. That's how you took care of it? You stocked it with trout? Well, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> They're obviously smallmouth bass. <laughs> Lisa, thank goodness you're here. Is everything OK? I think we have an intruder in the building. I hear someone in the pool. And they're singing show tunes. Maybe we should call the police. Not yet. I love this song. Very well equated to with matters mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical. About binomial theorem, I'm teeming with a lot of news. Dude, what were you doing? Quiet, Lisa, let him finish. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. <laughs> Okay, you can ask your question now. <laughs> Dude, what were you doing in there? Just having a bath and a shave. Sorry if I startled you. I'm not used to having company so early in the morning. Did you sleep here last night? Yes, and the night before that. And the three years before that. Wait, you've been living here? Well, I wouldn't want to put a label on it. But if I did want to put a label on it, and if I was lucky enough to own a label maker, <laughs> then yes, the label would indeed say that I am living here. Dupe, this is your place of employment, not your bachelor pad. I didn't mean to move in. I just started working later and later and showing up earlier and earlier until finally, I just stopped leaving. You can't live here. It's not allowed. Fine, I'll go home tonight. It'll be nice to see my cat again. She's going to be so excited. Hey, Larry. Why are you hanging around this empty table? Once a year, Pam takes all the unclaimed items in the lost and found box and puts them up for grabs. OK, well, enjoy picking through people's unwanted garbage. <laughs> Thanks, and a happy lost and found giveaway day to you two. <laughs> you know, a holiday this great should really have a snappier name. How about Hobo Christmas? <laughs> yes, here we go. Dupe's about to start the opening ceremonies. Free junk! Every year, it gets a little bigger in scale. I know you're in here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha, you're mine. Um... Hey, what are you doing? Helping myself to the sweet longboard. Didn't you hear? It's Lost and Found giveaway day! I know, I'm the one that told you that. And I grabbed it first. Actually, we both grabbed at the same time. So I guess that means whoever holds on to it the longest gets to keep it. I can't believe this is happening. Where's your hobo Christmas spirit? <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. Just keep doing what you're doing. Why are you sleeping in here? The real question is, why am I not sleeping in here? And the answer is, because you keep disturbing me. Luke, Lori, time to go. Well, for crying out loud, what do I have to do to get a good night's sleep? You could start by going home. I tried. When I went to my apartment, I found out it had been torn down and turned into a grocery store. My old bedroom is now the meat department. God, dupe, I'm so sorry. I tried sleeping in the display case, but old ladies kept poking me to see how tender I was. It was like they just saw me as a piece of meat. But on the plus side, I found my cat. 
Really? It was still alive there? Yep. She scratched me pretty good when I tried to pet her. I don't blame her. It's been so long, even her color has changed. And breed. Come and stay with us for a few nights until you find a new place. Oh, I wouldn't want to impose. We insist, right, guys? Sure. Absolutely. OK, I accept. Thank you so much. Is it OK if I bring my cat? Oh, I don't think that's such a great idea. You're right. I wouldn't want it getting all that white foam from its mouth all over your nice furniture. Ready to let go yet? No way. I have the hand strength of a professional thumb wrestler. Maybe, but you can't stay awake forever. I don't have to. I've been taking micro naps when you weren't looking. I'm as fresh as a... Fresh as a what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I dozed off for a second. You can sleep standing up with your eyes open? I once ran a half marathon in my sleep. Well, I once went to school in my sleep. And when I got there, I realized I wasn't wearing any clothes. And all my hair had fallen out. I tried to run away, but I realized I was moving in slow motion. And that's when the giant lobster with the face of my dentist challenged me to a game of dominoes. What a crazy day that was. Larry, there you are. It's time to go. Oh, that is too bad. I guess I'll be riding my new board home. Maybe I'll even take a nap while I do it. Actually, Summer, your mom asked me to give you a ride home, too. Let's go. I guess it's still anybody's board. You're asleep again, aren't you? Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfortable in the spare bedroom, Duke? No, thanks. I prefer to be on the first floor in case I start sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Yep. It's not uncommon to wake up and find myself cutting down a tree with a chainsaw. Well, then. I guess it's a good thing we sleep with our bedroom doors closed. Are you kidding? A chainsaw would slice through a wooden door like it was warm butter. <laughs> well, good night. <laughs> oh, and also, let me just apologize in advance for the blood-curdling screams. And will these blood-curdling screams be coming from us? <laughs> of course not. I suffer from night terrors, brought on by a reoccurring dream that evil mimes are trying to lock me away in an invisible box. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm beat. Thanks again for letting me stay here. By the way, where do you guys keep your power tools? They're in the... Enjoy, everyone. After all, breakfast is the most important meal of the... Mime! Dupe, it's me, Lisa. See? Why would you put something so terrifying on your face? It's a moisturizing mask. There's nothing terrifying about it. Speak for yourself. What is it with you and mimes? There's just something spooky about the way they're always picking invisible flowers. Or walking against a strong wind on a calm day. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say that a few blood-curdling screams in the night are worth it for a breakfast spread this amazing. You really didn't have to do this. Oh, I know. But after I pumped all the water out of the basement, I was a little peckish, so I figured, what the heck? Wait, you pumped all the water out of the basement? Did you tell Luke? Cannonball! <laughs> I'm okay. The concrete floor broke my fall. I'm up. <sighs> I see you're still here. I see you're still here. I live here. <laughs> Won't your parents be worried about you? Why would they be? I text them every 20 minutes. They even brought me breakfast. <laughs> Wow, they're really supportive. I know, it is a little embarrassing. <laughs> My parents are really supportive too. Oh, hey guys, you're up early. What are you doing with that skateboard? Whichever one of us holds onto it the longest gets to keep it. Ah, oh, well, this should be over soon. <laughs> you were never much for holding on to things. <laughs> Remember when you asked to hold Lori when she was first born? That was a real Butterfingers moment. <laughs> okay. Have fun. Wow. You must be all fired up after those words of encouragement. OK, look, if we're going to do this, we need to set some ground rules. Fine. Number one, we take a break at night and resume first thing in the morning. Agreed. I don't know what goes on in your house, but I keep being woken up by blood curdling screams. Secondly, we each get two bathroom breaks to be taken at a time of our choosing. 
That seems sensible. No. Uh, before you get to rule three, I suggest we take our first bathroom break. Also very sensible. <laughs> day off. But you have all the keys and every door in the building is locked. <sighs> Sorry about that. Here you go. None of these keys are labeled. Well, as I mentioned previously, I'm not lucky enough to own a label maker. <laughs> but don't worry, I can match each key to its door just by smell. <laughs> Armpits and athlete's foot. This key is for the men's locker room. <laughs> ah, sweet lavender and scorn. This one is for your office. Give me those. Wow, you really can smell the scorn. Now! Did you vacuum up all the spiders in my terrarium? Of course not. How can you even say such a thing? I mean, to think that I would ever suck up another living thing. a lot better if this vacuum bag wasn't full of spiders. How about this one? Studio apartment, hot and cold running water, and you get your very own door. Doorknob not included. That's standard at this price range. Look, it even has a fireplace. That's just a fire burning in a barrel. But think about how festive it'll be come Hobo Christmas. Ooh, this place looks fun. Look at the pretty yellow streamers. Did they just have a moving out party? Nope, that's police tape. You are not living in a place like that. I won't allow it. He'll be fine. It's perfectly safe. Look, it's got an emergency exit. It's just a gaping hole in the floor. <laughs> Dupe can stay here as long as he'd like. Thanks, Lisa. You're the best. Mm. Do you mind if I put in a few personal touches? Of course not. Our home is your home. Great. You know, this place isn't all bad. Look at those pretty white curtains. That's a ghost. All done. I can't believe you already used both of your bathroom breaks. Better to get them out of the way quickly so I don't have to constantly be thinking about when to use them. Great strategy. It's hot out here. You should really drink all of this water. Hey, I see what you're doing here making sure I stay hydrated so I don't get heat stroke. Yeah, that's it. Come on, let's go. Go where? I'm not just gonna stand here all day. I have a life, you know. Well, so do I, and I'm gonna start living it. Right after I drink all of this. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm off to work. If you get hungry, there's snacks in the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, but the light is taking forever. I can't decide what I want. It all looks so good. <laughs> this is your fault. You let Duke put in some personal touches, and now our fridge is a vending machine. Duke just needs some time to adjust. Oh, hey, everyone. <laughs> well, move it along now. <laughs> I'll talk to him when I get back. Uh, can you get some change while you're out? I've almost burned through Lori's entire college fund. I'm stuck, you're stuck. We are stuck together. I pull, you pull. We're holding this board forever. But if we hold on tight for one more night, we might just make it through.
get in here before he hears you. <laughs> what is going on? Attention, everyone. The Stanley House will be closing in five minutes. And when did we get a PA system? Dupe installed it today. He's turning the house into the Brock. It's not that bad. That vending machine made us over $200. Dude, wake up! He's sleepwalking again. I'm not sleeping, I'm wide awake. Also, your basement's getting a skylight. Okay, he needs to go. Paints and disappointment. Lane Stanley's art class. Pam, you have to let Dupe live here. Absolutely not. Please, I am begging you. Oh, did I say absolutely not? Sorry, that's a natural reflex when people ask me for things. I meant absolutely. <laughs> this community center is falling apart without him. Just look at this disaster. <laughs> I tried to mop it up, but I couldn't find the mop's on switch. <laughs> Great news! Pam wants you to move back to the Brock. Oh, I couldn't possibly abandon the Stanleys. They need me. They're living like cavemen over there. We didn't even have a bulletin board. You didn't try cleaning that up yourself, did you? At least this time I got here before you ended up in the hospital. I have to get him out of my house. He's smothering us. It's like the walls are closing in and we're trapped in a tiny invisible... Box. That's it. Where are you going? Can you get me another coffee? Something happened to mine. The carnival was really fun. It sure was. Except for when you rode the bumper cars and I had to run behind you and got rear-rented by that little girl. Yeah, she had some serious road rage. You know, while I was being dragged along behind you, I had some time to think. What if we shared the board? You mean like, I wouldn't win? It's more like, we both win. I like the idea of being the only winner. But I also like the idea of going to the bathroom more than twice a day. So what do you think? Fine, we'll share the board. You'll have it one day, I'll have it the next. Deal. You know you have to let go for this whole sharing thing to work, right? I came up with the sharing thing, so I assumed I would get first boardsies. No way! I approve the plan, so I get first boardsies. Well, I came up with the term boardsies, so I get first boardsies. How about this? Last person holding the board gets first boardsies. Done. <laughs> Hello, I'm home. Hello? Oh, no. What's happening? No, don't pick that invisible flower. I don't want it! What are you doing? We're inside, there's no wind! Don't open that umbrella in here, it's bad luck! Oh, good, I caught a break. Now I can escape before... <laughs> you keep that invisible mud away from me. Good boy, good boy. Ah, my job! My job! <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about you. You're trapped in that invisible box. Wait, what are you doing with that sledgehammer? <laughs> ah! I can't do it! I can't live in this house of horrors anymore! Hey, guys. When did we get a dog? Thanks for letting me move back in. And thanks for keeping my room just the way I left it. As if I'd move anything by myself. So you have everything you need? Well, there is one more thing, if it's not too much trouble. Rule number 437. Wipe off all exercise equipment after use. I love this chapter. Well, it's getting late. Oh, just one more? 
Okay, but just one. <laughs> Rule number 438. All swimmers must shower before entering the pool to prevent contamination. <laughs> Good night. Don't let the evil mime dogs bite. Where were you? You were supposed to pick up the board two hours ago. I'm sorry, homework ran late. And you couldn't call? The board was sitting on the front steps waiting for you all afternoon. I'll make it up to the board this weekend. I'll take it to the skate park. This weekend is my weekend. I'm taking it to my grandma's. What is this? A sticker? Yeah. I thought it looked cool. And you didn't think we should talk about this first? I have tried talking, Larry, but you never listen. Here are some extra wheels and bearings. See you Friday. Don't be late. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,